Though the Anvil Aerospace Hornet remains the face of the Earth Navy, its older counterpart, the Aegis Gladius, continues to serve a vital role in naval operations. The Gladius is well renowned throughout the Navy for its high performance and lightweight frame, making the fighter ideal in most interception or escort roles. 20 meters long with a mass of 16,000 kilograms, the Gladius is built for combat and combat alone. Carrying a single pilot with no space for cargo of any kind, every inch of the ship's frame is devoted to high G dogfighting maneuvers and straight line speed. Easily repaired, cheap to produce, and with simple controls easy for new pilots to train on, the Gladius remains the favorite short range patrol fighter of the UEE Navy, even despite its increasing age. Though the F7A Hornet is the UEE's fighter of choice, for carrier assignments, the Aegis Gladius is still frequently seen in the launch bays of Bengal-class carriers and Idris-class frigates. Though the Gladius variant used by the UEE lacks any faster-than-light capability, older Gladius fighters are often modified by civilian owners or private sector organisations to carry a small jump drive. The factory Gladius is propelled by a pair of hammer propulsion HE 5.2 thrusters, and the fighter carries eight Hydra propulsion M116 RCS thrusters for manoeuvring. Though the ship's hull plating is fairly thin, the Gladius's Ascension Astro Shield Generator provides the fighter with some measure of protection should a hostile combatant land a hit. The standard UEE Gladius is armed with twin CF-7 Bulldog repeaters and a single nose-mounted Scorpion GT-215 Gatling cannon. This provides the Gladius with both an effective means of stripping away shielding and piercing hull armour. The fighter is also equipped with a pair of missile pylons, each normally outfitted with four Firestorm Kinetics Ignite 2 heat-seeking missiles. These cutting-edge strike missiles do not require a full target lock, making them quick to fire but easy to evade. To this day, the Gladius remains remains the UEE's main frontline light fighter and regularly serves in engagements with pirates and vandal across the frontier. The Gladius's low number of moving parts has led to it becoming a favourite of carrier deck crews. The ship's quick and easy repair process making it an ideal choice for a frontline carrier vessel operating outside the range of friendly repair facilities and bases. As older variants of the Gladius have begun to be auctioned off to planetary governments and private military companies, the fighter has slowly started to fall into severe civilian hands, both law-abiding and otherwise. Though all classified military technologies are removed from the fighter's space frames before they leave military service, the Gladius is quite capable of mounting civilian-grade weaponry and modules. This has led many to believe that before long, UEE Gladius pilots might find themselves engaging pirates and outlaws, flying ships very similar to their own. Even as the Gladius draws closer to the end of its life cycle, the fighter continues to be regularly upgraded and refitted to keep pace with modern technology. Even after the more widespread deployment of the F-7A Hornet and the more recent introduction of the F-8 Lightning for use by elite units, the Gladius remains the most nimble fighter in the UEE fleet. Though iterative upgrades will not postpone the Gladius's retirement forever, the fighter will doubtlessly continue to see use as a trainer and border patrol craft for decades. And the final years of the Gladius's military service will no doubt provide the ship with plentiful opportunities to prove its worth in combat once again. Thank you for watching Space Doc. Please remember to like, subscribe and share for more science fiction spacecraft summaries. And if there's a particular spacecraft you'd like to see looked at, let me know in the comments below and I'll get right on it.